ABC News, around the world and into your home. The stories that touch your life. This is 2020 Friday with Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer, Sam Donaldson, Connie Chung, Charles Gibson, and Hugh Downs. You see how great they look. It does fabulous things to your body. You feel how much they hurt. My feet are killing me. These are three and a half inch heels. Pain, pain, pain. But we'll show you disturbing news about high-heeled shoes and the serious damage to more than just your aching feet. The safest bet now is just avoid them. Dr. Nancy Snyderman with a startling report for every woman who likes to wear high heels and every man who likes to look. The high price of high heels. Those stories tonight, Friday, October 2nd, 1998, after this brief message. Because of this next story, I've been trying to imagine what it would be like to try to walk around with three-inch spikes on the heels of my shoes. That's what millions of women do every day when they put on high heels. My advice is don't try it. I'm not going to. I mean, I wear high heels very often, and I think most women do it because we think that it makes our legs look, you know, sort of sexier, even if it is uncomfortable. Uh, sexier, maybe, but better, I have reservations. <laughs> high heels have a downside. They can ruin your feet. Most women I know know that. But tonight we have something new that they might not know. There's new scientific information about what high heels do, not just to women's feet, but to their bodies. Dr. Nancy Snyderman reveals the high price of high heels. High heels have long captured women's hearts. I got them three days ago. I've worn them for three days. I'm in love with them. And the love affair with high heels for many women begins early, when as little girls they slip into their first pair. A new study in the British medical journal The Lancet undeniably proves that high heel injuries can extend far beyond the feet. The high heel shoe obviously compromises the foot and the ankle. So there has to be some compromising actions occurring at the knee and the hip. So we speculated the knee was going to have to do more work than normal to progress the body forward. Just, you know, as if you're going for a walk in the park. And that led Dr. Casey Kerrigan, an associate professor in rehabilitative medicine at the Harvard Medical School, to take an unprecedented look at the knees of 20 high heel wearers. At the Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in Boston, Dr. Kerrigan and her research team repeated their study for 2020 with a new group of high heel wearers that included Denise Baum. As in the original study, high-tech laboratory equipment measures and records the amount of strain occurring in the women's knees as they walk both barefoot okay, so now we're gonna put high heels on you. and in their high heels. Statistics gathered from computer images confirmed what researchers suspected. Walking in high heels shifts the body and puts an unnatural strain on a woman's knees. Pressure dramatically increases under the kneecap and also on the inside of the knee by 23%. Researchers are convinced this consistent strain on the knee can lead to arthritis. This woman has, has osteoarthritis in her knee. And you can see on here on the inside part of her knee, there just isn't that joint space. The abnormal force coming like this could cause that arthritis in this part of the knee. I do have some arthritis in my knees also. I doubt that every woman is going to get arthritis that wears high heels, but high heel shoes, anything over the two inches, is going to cause these abnormal forces that are likely to be a risk factor for arthritis in the knees. As for Denise Baum's knee test, no surprise there, a big increase in strain on her knees from walking in high-heeled shoes. The safest bet now is just avoid them. Avoid wearing them for any long periods of time, too. You know, knowing what these things do to women, I think we could do without them. I don't need them. <laughs> I mean, I don't need to look at them. <laughs> don't you dare wear them. Uh, you know, we've done a lot of things. Women have done a lot of things in their lives to look sexy and maybe we're not sexy but crazy. <laughs> but that's a fashion dictate that I think has an element of sadism in it. I, I could do without a Barefoot ladies look good to me. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back.